You mentioned bicarb. It seems old school, but it you It is old school, but it still it? works very well. Okay, how does it work? So it's a buffer, essentially, so reduces lactate. So not going to be appropriate for, for all events. Right. Um, but if you've got high lactate production and we're trying to reduce the effects of that in an event, it can work very, very well. Like a 20-minute time trial yep. and triathlon, yeah. something like yep. that. Yep. So how would you take that? I'm curious. It's a bit more complicated. It's loading. Again, you can do an acute load or you can do a chronic load. You've got to be mindful that it can affect your gut, and it's probably why a lot of people don't use it is because it can um, be a associated with with GI discomfort but you basically are taking it starting from about three hours out up until 90 minutes out from an event um, and there's a set sort of ratio um, of bicarb that we're taking based on that person's weight um, something that you would work with with a professional to, to figure out what your requirement was yes and this is the the gut training scenario that you talked Absolutely. about you'd want to try this one before Absolutely. Event day. definitely yeah. Yeah, not okay. something you would try on race day